waiting. Excited much? All right, come on. <laughs> I was, I was going to film today's video out here, but it started raining. And I mean, I'm looking great, crunch. Sit. So I thought I'd take you out on a little bit of a walk with the dog. And we'd kind of like, I've touched on this quite a few times on my channel, but it's about my relationship with where I come from. And a lot of people ask, will you ever move home? Do you, okay, back to girlhood. I ask like, will you ever go home? Will you ever live in the UK? It's a squirrel crunch. <laughs> crunch, for God's sake, man. Come on. Jesus. You, this is a nightmare vlogging with you. Not bringing you out again. So flipping distracting. Ooh. Okay, there's clearly too many squirrels around here. Are you okay, Crunch? Come on. This was a terrible idea. Like, absolutely terrible. But my hair looks great. It's drunk. Well, guy that's drunk. Good morning. Look Good who morning. I picked up. We are heading into town. Uh, we had to park three miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Calm it. <laughs> Such a vlog hog. That looks so weird. Are you done disorienting my audience? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna jump on the train to town, get some breakfast, and I don't know what. I'm gonna knock you out! <laughs> this is like deja vu. It's in the exact same place that we vlogged last time. <laughs> One of my favorite things about coming back to Birmingham is going to Selfridges. I swear to God, boy! <laughs> so we're in Flying Tiger. What are you shopping for, Ali? I like this. No! <laughs> <laughs> if any of you happen to come to Birmingham, then I would recommend coming to the museum and art gallery. It's completely free. Um, but, like, what are they doing here? This used to be called Paradise. <laughs> and if you'd have ever, if you're from Birmingham and you saw what Paradise used to look like, you'll understand the joke. What the hell? And the library used to be, oh. You can see the library from here. We'll go around to it in a minute. We used to be able to walk all the way up here and the old library used to be there. And now that's the library, that monstrosity thing there. What are they doing? <gasps> what have they done to you? Oh, it's very odd. It's very bizarre. I haven't walked around, I haven't walked around this part in so long. Wow, it's all opened up. Like you can see any of them. Um, that part, stop, stop focusing on the rails. The new home for PwC. So that's what it's gonna, so this is what it's gonna look like. Yeah. What's PwC? I have no idea. Okay, so just taking a walk down the canals and I was just thinking like, cause I wanna really talk about in today's video my love hate relationship with Birmingham and like how I feel. I will get onto the point eventually. But like the canals are such a nice place to come at night and eat and drink and you sit down by the water, and you got the canal boats and I love the canals in Birmingham. Apparently they're doing some renovations soon and they're well needed, put more restaurants on the canals, clean them up. But like I didn't spend much time down by the canals. I came down a few times with friends and had some wine and it was really nice and I ate but like looking back I there's a lot I actually really do like about Birmingham. Like, it's just it's so nice to just. It's unique. It's very unique. That's the thing. Like, I always tell people, I can slag off Birmingham. You can't. And it's a very unique city, and I like it. But there's also things I don't like about it. <laughs> that bridge behind us is called Brewmasters Bridge. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Factoid. You didn't say factoid. Factoid. <laughs> Fail. No, Scott, please stop stretching them out, Scott. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Ali, when the fuck are you going to get to the point? I'm going to get to the point of this video in a minute. Anything to piss off my people? Would you like a time lapse? I'll give you a time lapse. Okay, so I've got to say, when I went into um, town yesterday, when I took you in, I was really happy. And by the way, I just realised, because I started editing the video, I called the, the new library a monstrosity. I don't know why that word popped into my head, because um, it's actually like a gorgeous, stunning building. Fluffy! Um, and I'm so happy that suddenly, um, like, 
Grand Central is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I will always, always have a very special place in my heart for the concrete shithole which was Birmingham New Street um, back in my day, but um, you can't deny Grand Central is absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous train station, um, shopping center, restaurant, bazaar, I, I, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm so happy that they knocked down Paradise and they're rebuilding that and it's it's really really nice to see Birmingham get a bit of a, a makeover because it's it's desperately needed. Birmingham is such an industrial city It always has been so there was always just a lot of concrete buildings Which are just so ugly and that's why I think people were like eh, the bull ring when that got rebuilt got decades ago whenever that got rebuilt um, so I think it's just, it looked so odd, and when I was walking around, I didn't realise when it, like, we got to Victoria Square, which by the way, they filled in the bloody fountain with flowers. I used to play in that fountain with all the broken glass. Yeah. Okay, I see why they've probably filled it in there. Oh, okay. We're gonna braid. Let's braid together. Come on, Maine. Work with me today. Work with me. So the thing is, like, Birmingham can be a really nice... It can be really nice. It, it, is, it is a cool city. Um, it's the second city, I do believe. Second largest city next to London. Um, even though I think Manchester argues that point. Anyway, regardless, it is a nice city. It has some beautiful buildings. It has a great history. Um, and you know, I am happy to be from Birmingham. But I suppose when I look back, do you ever have that feeling where you kind of, you've left a place in the past and it's almost really difficult to reconnect. Like, I've had good times in Birmingham, but I've also had bad times which, like I said, I left in my past. And when I come back, it, it's great. And I've enjoyed this time coming back more than I ever have. I've enjoyed Birmingham more this visit than I've ever enjoyed Birmingham in my life. And I can appreciate Birmingham as a city and where I grew up. But I just feel like, it's not somewhere I could ever live again, permanently. Um, visiting's nice, and it's nice to see friends and family, but I don't know, and I'm actually probably gonna do a real talk on something very real um, soon about belonging and how travel has kind of made me feel like I don't belong anywhere. It's actually something that's been pretty, um, it's been messing me up quite a bit in the head whenever I think about it. Like, where do I belong in this world anymore? What am I doing? Where can I call home? Um, foreign countries are just so difficult unless you know the language, which can take years to become fluent so you can connect with locals. Do you ever really belong somewhere? Can you ever really adapt to their way of life and really get into the community. Well, no, if you can't speak their language, you can't. Um, and it's definitely saying, if you'd like a real talk on that, then please let me know. Um, I don't think I'd be able to do it before India. Um, but yeah, I get the question all the time. Will you ever move back to Birmingham? Will you ever live in Birmingham? The question is, it's very unlikely. Would I ever live in the UK? So the thing is, one of the biggest things for me, and I've realized coming home this time more than ever, that I need sunshine. I'm a sunshine kind of girl. Give me beaches and 40 degree weather if you must. And I will take that any day over the grizzly, gray cloud covered country that is Britain. Britain is not a country, Ali. England, fine. So no, I think it's very possible that I could pick somewhere in the UK to live. But to be honest, I haven't traveled enough of my own country to even know where I would start. But yeah, in a nutshell, um, I'm trying to really, uh, this year, trying to find myself, trying to figure stuff out. And it's all coming together in my head. It'll be a slow process. Um, but yeah, if you'd like that real talk where I really, I'll get pretty personal, but I have a feeling I'm not alone. And I've been feeling a bit alone on this thing. Like, so many people go on about it, especially people who have traveled as long as I have. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, they don't ever mention like <clears throat> the whole belonging thing <clears throat> and getting into a culture and how important it is to feel like you belong in this world. And after so long now of traveling, I'm realizing, shit, it's really important. So this year, as you know, is the year of fuck it. And we are gonna figure that out, but yeah. 
that's my relationship with Birmingham. <clears throat> Eventually got to the point, I think, I think I answered the question, but considering moving back to the UK at some point is definitely playing on my mind and I'm exploring it, I'm thinking about it and weighing up options, good and bad, but there's just too much that I've left in Birmingham that I kind of want to leave in Birmingham and leave it here forever and just move on with my life. So um, yeah, that's my stance on Birmingham. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed actually taking you around Birmingham um, over the past couple of days and just showing you little tidbits and little clips, but um, I would recommend coming to Birmingham. I would, it, it is a nice city and in a few years once they've like redone everything. It's really weird because they've changed so much in my area. Like so much has changed, it's insane. It doesn't even feel like home anymore really. I look around and I'm like, this isn't where I grew up. Um, everything's changed. Um, and if you live in like the Selly Oak area, you'll understand with the hostel because literally over the road from me, you know, and you see the hostel and it's just all, it's very bizarre. And um, yeah, so if you wanna follow up to this, do let me know. I'm gonna stop bloody rambling because I'm going on and on and on. I'm going out for lunch with my dad today because I'm going back to Budapest tomorrow and then I'm going out for dinner with my brother. They didn't know I had a brother. Did ya? No. Well, I do. I do have a half-brother, and um, I'm gonna take him to the canals tonight and treat him to a meal, which I think will be really, really nice, because I never get to see my brother, so that'll be really lush. Um, anyway, yeah, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, or a thumbs down, whatever, whatever really pleases you. Um, don't forget Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all the Sack Charter links down there, and I'll see you when I'm back in Budapest on Monday. Oh, it's very exciting. I am very looking forward to going back to Budapest what I would call now my home. All right, um, yep, yeah, I will see you on Monday. Bye.